In this video, we study a very important topic of relations and functions specifically, which is named as composition of functions. You must be seeing one schematic in front of you in the video. We'll come to it later. But first, let's understand a very brief overview, a very basic understanding of what is basically composition. Composition of functions should be understood as nesting of functions. This S can be made more beautiful in this manner, right? Composition of functions means nesting of functions. So what is nesting of functions? Nesting of functions would be something in the form of a diagram which we'll understand, but a very basic brief that we have some functions and we want to get into the depth from one function to the other, then to the third and so on, until and unless we reach the depth fully. Okay, let's see, this is just a very brief introduction and mathematically it will be clear with the help of this diagram. As you can see, there are three circles which I've drawn with blue marker ink and there are X, Y, Z markings. Some bijection mappings would be there, some correspondences would be there, let's see. There is a mapping F, there is a mapping G, there is another mapping H. What all these things denote, let's write it down and understand one by one. So I have a function f, you see in the diagram where is f? f you can find it as here. The arrow on f is from x to y. So the function is from x to y which is f. Now come on to g. Here we find g. G is from Y to Z. So G is from Y to Z. You find something else also in the diagram which is H. Now H is from direct link to the first and the third circle. The first was X, the third was Z. So H is what? H is from X to z. This is clear till now that we have f, g, h, three mappings from where to where we've just written that till now. Now, we started with the input x as you can understand that we are only having at this stage one element which is x. So we have x belongs to x. The symbol I told earlier also it is belongs to. We have x belongs to x. And this x is fed as an input to the function and it becomes fx. Now this fx is fed as an input to g function and it becomes g of fx. So it is that internally related that you move from one side and you come out with other side as a nested effect. These things would be clear also when we write it another form. Like you feed x input to a function, you get fx. Now when you feed this g uh, in g function, this fx in g function, so it becomes somewhat like this. You feed this as input to a g function to obtain g of fx. This bracket is read as of g of fx or you can also read it as g of fx or g of f of x. Now this g of fx is sometimes also spoken as g o f. g o f, f o g, these things would be more and more visible in the questions. G O F simply means what? G O F is nothing but G of F X which is written here. So this is the basic story of G of F X, G O F. Now, can it always happen that we can find G O F? Can it always happen that we can find F O G? Let's see that. First thing is clear that G O F is what? G of F X. Had a question been regarding F O G, 
it would be nothing but f of g of x. How to find will be clear with the question but the basic theory is this. Now one more thing that when does g o f exist? When does f o g exist? This is very important. g o f exists under certain conditions. g o f would exist when or I can write exists when the range of the second thing, the range of f, the range of the second thing is f, is a subset of, is a subset of the domain of the first thing, domain of g. This is important, when would g o f exist? g o f would exist when the range of the second thing would be a subset of domain of the first thing. Similarly, when f o g would exist, f o g would exist when the range of the second thing that is range of g will be a subset of domain of f. This is the story about composition of functions. We have one very simple exemplar problem to this. To understand it, we have an illustration. Let us see what the question says. The question is such that I have a function f from real to real. This my question says. I have a function g from real to real. This my function says and question says. Now the function is 2x plus 3 which is fx. The gx given to me is x square plus 1. These are the fx and gx given to me and the question wants me to find g o f x. This is the question. What is g o f x? The solution is very simple if you understand this theory. First thing you have to check always in composition questions check this condition of exist whether it exists or not. You cannot just start solving. So whether g o f exists, g o f would exist when range of f would become a subset of domain of g. Range of f is real. Real is a subset of real. Yes it is. So it exists. Now let us just start finding g o f x is g of f x. g of f x means you need to feed g outside f x inside. What is f x? f x is 2 x plus 3. So the question now changes, changes to this g of 2 x plus 3. That means now this 2x plus 3, suppose now this fx is 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3 is serving in as input and will turn the question completely. So this 2x plus 3 will go into g, 2x plus 3 go into g, what is g? x square plus 1, that means x will now be replaced by 2x plus 3, so it becomes 2x plus 3 whole square plus 1. I again repeat what we did in this question till now. The question is about composition of functions. You are supposed to find g o f. We first checked this condition whether g o f exists or not. Yes, it exists. Now g of f x means in bracket you have to feed f x. It is feeded in the bracket. g of 2 x plus 3 means wherever you find x you have to replace it by 2 x plus 3. So x square plus 1 means 2 x plus 3 whole square plus 1. Now as simple as that you can leave the question as it is or you can solve it one step more. a plus b whole square means a square plus b square plus 2ab. 4x square plus 9 plus 2 into 3 into 2x and again plus 1. So the answer completely would be 4x square plus 12x plus 10. This is the answer to this problem. So in this video we saw what is known as composition of functions. Composition of functions is also called as nesting of functions. We saw theoretical explanation to the same along with one sample problem. In the next videos we will be seeing some more problems and insights into composition of functions.